So, um, one last thing, uh, one last item from the show yep. is we uh, is our tech corner. Obviously, we're in a tech center here yep. at Hexagon 2012, and we saw a lot of really cool things going on. Had a chance to visit some booths, and uh, we looked at one product that we want to show you here in just one second. And this is the Cognitens WLS 400 uh, white light um, white light scanner, I guess we'll call it. And uh, let's take a look at it. Um, if you just roll that video. So I'm here with Cliff Bliss of Hexagon Metrology to take a look at the Hexagon WLS 400 white light scanner. Correct. Do I have that right? White light uh, scanner? Yes. Okay, great. Yep. So tell us about it. This is a uh, our new generation white light product. Uh, it's called a WLS 400. It's based on a, uh, a three camera system. Illumination with LED blue light. So it's used, utilizing the new blue light technology. Uh, it's based on stereo vision which incorporates a projector, and you can see from the projector, it's going to put an image onto the part. The software recognizes exactly how that image is distorted on the part, and through point correspondence, will reconstruct the three-dimensional characteristics of your part in the software, and then from there you can compare the actual image back to CAD or back to a master part, if you will. Now, is, is this the same as structured white light, or is this a different? Within the white light technology group, there's what they call structured light, which utilizes a technology called phase shifts. Okay. The stereo vision, which we're utilizing here, utilizes point correspondence based on fixed cameras and based on a distorted image of the part. Now, the nice thing about stereo vision is we can collect the data in less than eight milliseconds. That affords you the ability to go handheld and okay. measure parts. It also affords you the ability to put it on an automated system and you can run right next to stamping presses. So, the, so vibration is, we're immune to vibration. So the difference is, is some of the other structured white light, they're projecting these different patterns and it takes yeah. several seconds to step through them, is that? Well, basically they put on patterns, or phases they call them, okay. it's based on grayscale. And they have to put anywhere between three and seven patterns on there. So they have to take between three and seven shots, okay. which could last up to a second and a half to two seconds. So if your part moves within that time frame, you have a motion error and you have to start over, okay. whether that's handheld or not. Now, one of the benefits of structured light is it brings back a very clean, what they call an STL for reverse engineering. So this is the only system in the market that will actually do both. Okay. So basically, uh, you go into a software toggle switch and you say, I would like to do structured light. You bring it over to the area, you shoot, and it takes five shots. It looks at the targets, takes three shots, then it will smooth and average that point cloud for a nice, clean reverse engineering method. And then you can go back to stereo vision and you can basically walk through the part and shoot. So just to give an example, you can see those two red dots on the part. That gives you your standoff. Now it's not very sensitive. You can be plus or minus two inches, three inches maybe. Okay? And you just point. Shoot, you're done. And then that quickly, you can shoot again. So with those two dots, you're, you're looking just to get them fairly close together? Or? Yes. Okay. Yep. So if you have them right on top of each other, that's your optimal focal. Okay. Okay. But you can be a little in or a little out, and it will not affect the measurement. Okay, of the within part. a couple inches, you said. A couple inches, okay, three right. inches. Yes. Works out very well. What it's this is our uh, what we call our accessibility platform. It's an option. The nice thing about this is it was designed specifically for this technology. Uh, if you're in a plant area, it goes up to 10 feet high, right? Oh, okay. Or it goes all the way down to the floor. Okay. okay. Nice thing too is the way the legs are configured. You can get them underneath the table, so you can get into that die. You can get route, reach out real far. Okay, all pneumatics, very ergonomic. Now again, this is a option. You could also put this on uh, your own design stand if you like. You can go completely handheld. Just put it on a cart. You need three things if you go handheld. You need the head, acquisition device. You need the control box which is all solid state now, very light, okay. and you mm -hmm. need a laptop. So you can imagine, is, you can just put This is the whole piece right here. Right. Okay. That's all you need to operate the system. All right. Now, another nice feature is that we're using all off-the-shelf computers. Okay, this is just a standard Dell computer, higher-end Dell computer. And then it also comes in a, a desktop. So if you need 
horsepower, you go with the desktop, or if you're in a very harsh atmosphere, like in a plant, where it gets very hot, you can cool the desktop. Oh, sure. Or in a very dusty area, you can actually filter the desktop. Okay? And also, that head, when you go into an automation standpoint, you can take that same head and go from manual to automated. So you can take it off the stand, you can put it on the end of a robot, and you're good to go. Okay. So in a nutshell, it's a, it's a white light product. We're utilizing blue light technology. And sometimes there's a little confusion there when we say white light and blue light. Our physicists reminded us that blue light is in the white light spectrum. Oh, well, there you go. So same, <laughs> same white light, same thing as blue light. So we call it a white light system, but we utilize blue light technology. And that's because it has a very short wavelength. And short wavelength means it doesn't overexpose us, right? It doesn't come back at us like a white light would. You can imagine taking a, a photograph of the flash in the mirror, you get overexposed. Okay. We don't want that, right? So we have the short wavelength that doesn't come back at us. We also have a third camera. So if one does get a little overexposed, we can go to the other two. So it gives you a lot of versatility. Okay, Cliff. Cliff Bliss with Hexagon Metrology Thank showing you. us the Cognitens WLS 400. Great, okay, terrific. terrific. Thanks, Cliff. And uh, back to you, Mike. Well, there you have it, the Cognitens WLS 400, presented by Cliff Bliss. Notice how I threw that back to you, even yes. though I'm here. <laughs> That's right. Back to you, Mike. How did you know? How did you know you weren't going to throw it back to yourself, is what I want to know. <laughs>